So there's a new ambient occlusion update for Unreal Engine Fractals. It's included in all packs for free. This update is all about ambient occlusion. So there's this new feature which allows you to get some more details, nice shadow, you know, in the small corners of the fractals, as you can see here. And this adds a lot of realism and it's just more photorealistic so you know it doesn't have an impact on performances so why not after all let's create a simple level i want to to create a level without any light only diffuse skylight uh, so just drag your fractal and we are going to scale that up to 10 and we need to fix uh, another thing because when you scale up the fractal you need to change the fixed distance triangles parameter in the render settings so you get those ugly blocks to go away then let's create some skylight and you need to set this to specified code map and you can use any one you want i'm just going to something gray or white and now we just need to add some depth to the scene. So some, how it's called, uh, exponential height fog, which is down there. And you can tweak the colors a bit. Um, just want something, you know, white or blue, some nice foggy environment to get some more depth. And it may take some time to, to get the, the look that you want, but it's really right there in the settings. Let's create also a new camera so we can have some nice depth of field and more control over the composition of the scene. Also, I like to get a really small f-stop because we want that depth of field to be like blurry with some bokeh and I use the focus uh, plane debug to to understand where I'm actually uh, focusing the, the camera on and just decrease the aperture now. So uh, we need to compensate for the exposure now because there's so much light in the sensor. So just drag the, um, the exposure compensation up a bit. And here we are, you see that nice depth of field in the background. Now you can duplicate the camera if you want just to create a backup of your finding. And from now on, I am just looking for something cool or, you know, get some inspiration for an animation. And I'm not even tweaking the fractal parameters much. But yeah, this tutorial is not about that. It's just about how to get to this point and use ambient occlusion, emission, the camera, some uh, depth of field and of course the uh, skylight as main light source so you don't have any shadow. Okay let's try to create a loop. So I'm going to use the beta loop I think but you can also change uh, rotations and other parameters like the wave if you want to create a looping animation and just hunting for something cool. So here we are. I found this spot which I like and I want to get rid of the outline. So just remove that from project settings or editor preference. Let's animate this loop. Oh yeah, you have to be sure that uh, if you want to render this out, you have to be sure that uh, real-time sequencer settings are set to updating, otherwise uh, your render will be static. Oh yeah, let's apply some vignetting, just to focus more on the center of the scene. And let's create this animation, so add your level sequence, call it whatever. And now you can just drag in your camera, and also you can keyframe the loop parameter or whatever parameter you want really 
you may know this already so just keyframe at frame 0 and then go to the last frame set the loop to 1 and keyframe that as well and press right click set keyframe interval uh, interpolation to linear so it's smoothly looping and i think we can just render this out it will look much better later when once rendered and so enable your uh, move render queue in the plugins if you don't have that and create a new render select your level load the settings from the uh, which came, which are included in the pack and I'm going to render as PNG and don't want any Z buffer uh, pass you can enable that and use that later in like in compositing to get a better depth of field or get some more fog you know and in case you want to use a Z buffer just uh, set the depth of field quality to zero so the render from Unreal we don't it's not going to have that and that's fine so let's render this out at the end I wasn't super happy about the shot so I played a bit more with the parameters and this is the final render <laughs>